it's now coming up to a year since I started and we've had about 85 pilots. But if you're into aviation as much as I am and most of these gentlemen and ladies are here, just to arrange a talk so you get a bit of an aviation fix and it helps you get through the pandemic when it helped me get through it. I grew up uh, with a love for aviation and always wanted to serve my country, so becoming an, a naval aviator was a, was a path for me. Predominantly a B-1 uh, bomber uh, guy, but I've also been uh, an EA-6B Prowler electronic attack guy with the Navy, now, now a retired aircraft. I not only get to fly with uh, the various branches of uh, U.S., but also with international, uh, some of our allies and partners. As the two pilots out here, so we're currently forward deployed in Anderson uh, on Guam, and we're part of the forward operating base here, so we primarily focus on the launch and recovery of the aircraft. They'll do the full mission back at the main operating base and then hand it back to us for landing about 20-ish hours later. What kind of feedback do you get from the controls on the drone? So specifically, we sit in front of a computer much like you are right now, um, so we don't have any feedback from the aircraft like physical feedback. There is no seat of the pants, there's no vibration, anything like that in terms of the aircraft. Um, and we basically have every instrument that you would in a normal aircraft, minus being able to see out the windscreen. Great to have these guys out here, great team members, great mission, and uh, very good to work with them through all the unique challenges. Kind of one integrated joint team here at Anderson Air Force Base.